Hi, everybody. It's Christine Till, the Marketing Mentress, and I'm going to share some more with you today about endorsements. Now, way back when I first got started using LinkedIn over 10 years ago, um, I noticed people would connect with me and then right away they would endorse me for something. And I'm going, okay, he lives in Tuktaoka. Um, I don't know that person. I've never met them before. How did they know me well enough to, to endorse me for something? We haven't even had coffee together. And there's no way we can have coffee together because they live on the other side of the world. <laughs> so I started poo-pooing the whole idea and telling all my clients and, and associates in business, this endorsing is just bogus, totally bogus. You don't want to endorse anybody unless you've actually sat down and had coffee with them or done business with them. Well, then I got an email from LinkedIn with a special invitation to come to a big LinkedIn uh, conference. And it was in Vancouver. And I thought, oh, this is great. I'm going to be able to go and I'm going to meet a whole bunch of LinkedIn gurus and I'm going to learn all kinds of new stuff. So I was really excited about this. And I got there and yeah, there were several hundred people sitting in that room and they had big screens on each side of the stage. And we, you know, we, we saw all the different notes and things that, that they were talking about and learned all the latest and greatest what LinkedIn was doing and, and what was coming up and all that kind of great news. And the, the day went great. It was an awesome day. I got to meet a few gurus. There were a few there. And then right at the very end of the session in the afternoon, on the big screens on each side of the stage appeared my headshot. And I about fell out of my chair. Like, what's my picture doing up there? And they said, would Christine Till please come up to the stage? We have a special award for you. I went, oh yeah, what, what award? And I found out when I got on the stage, they said, Christine, we are giving you an award for having the most endorsements of anyone in British Columbia. I about fell off the stage. I went, oh my goodness, was I embarrassed because I'd been talking about how negative these were. And they explained there how important these endorsements were because what happens is when you get endorsed by somebody, you're, you're, they, they choose one of the key words in your skills. And that key word triggers who your profile is going to get shown to. So by having somebody endorse you, it helps you be shown to more people on LinkedIn. How cool is that, eh? I had no idea, but I'll tell you, I changed my tune in a really big hurry because I realized, oh my gosh, I need to start endorsing people. So I did, I started endorsing people and I noticed something that as I endorse people, I get more leads and more prospects as a result of endorsing people. And they will endorse you back, which then shows you to more people. And I usually wait until at least a week, six days to a week after I've been connected with somebody. So it gives us both a time to, to get to know a little bit about our profiles and um, maybe read a little bit about each other. And so that we know something that we can legitimately endorse each other for and we've maybe had some conversations because whenever somebody connects with me I always thank them for connecting with me even if it's just something short and sweet and I find something in their profile that we have in common and invite them to hop on a call so that we can get to know each other better and find ways that we can network that's what LinkedIn's all about it's about networking right we're trying to find those key people that would want to build a relationship with us and that we would want to build a relationship with. So it's all this know, like, and trust that we're building. So we've already had some conversations before it gets to the point where we're going to endorse somebody. 
also the chances of them. I've had maybe the number of people that have said to me, what are you endorsing me for? They had the same kind of an attitude I had when I first started using LinkedIn. I don't know you. How do you know to endorse me? And, and I, so I tell them this story. And it changed my whole life on business, my whole outlook on what I do on LinkedIn. And I hope that helps you to understand better as well. And so go, start going and checking out all the people that you're connected to on LinkedIn. And I've been even going way back to where I never endorsed anybody because it was the period when I wasn't endorsing people because I was telling everybody not to endorse. <laughs> and so, and I'm getting some really great responses from people and they're saying, oh, hey, how are you? Oh, I'd love to chat. We've been connected since 2010. <laughs> so think about that for a minute. And and just understand that you can get more leads, more prospects, you attract people to you, the more things that you give for free. So if you're giving somebody an endorsement, most of those people get back to me and say, oh, thank you so much, that is awesome. So try it. And maybe you wanna get back to me. <laughs> Let me know how it all turns out. I'm Christine Till the marketing mentress, and you can find me on LinkedIn. Make it a great rest of your day.